This week on the Husky Update. The City of Boston and Northeastern both lift their indoor mask mandates on the same day for the first time since the summer. Northeastern's Art Blanche Club holds a charity art sale to raise money for Ukraine. And South Korea selects a new president. All this and more on this episode of the Husky Update. Your campus, your news, all the time. From the Showman Studio, here is the Husky Update. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Husky Update. My name is Tommy Martino, and here is this week's news. On March 2nd, Northeastern University sent out an email announcing that the campus indoor mask mandate would lift on March 6th. Following March 6th, masks on campus became optional. While some professors encourage students to wear masks in class, it is no longer a requirement. This change is made in accordance with the City of Boston lifting its indoor mask mandate on the same day. According to an email from David Madigan and Ken Henderson, this decision was guided by scientific data and the latest public health guidelines. At the end of the email, the senior vice presidents thanked those on campus for their efforts in keeping campus safe during the pandemic. In reaching this milestone, we want to commend the individual and collective efforts of our students, faculty, and staff in persevering through the challenges presented by this historic event. Together, we have maintained a safe and healthy community. Thank you for all you have done to contribute to these efforts. Now let's go to Alana for a lightning round. Thanks, Tommy. My name is Alana Gersten, and this is Lightning Round. In local news, Boston Mayor Michelle Wu has promised on Twitter to personally fill a singular pothole on Instagram Live on Friday, March 11th. In national news, on March 8th, Florida lawmakers passed the Parental Rights in Education Bill, dubbed the Don't Say Gay Bill by opponents, which is aimed at forbidding the instruction of sexual orientation and gender identity in kindergarten through third grade. The bill will be sent to the desk of Governor DeSantis, who's expected to sign it. Largely passed on party lines, Republican sponsors and supporters have defended the bill as empowering parents but Democratic lawmakers and LGBTQ advocates have expressed concerns about singling out students and making school districts broadly vulnerable to lawsuits. In international news, in a close contest, South Korea elected conservative Yoon Sik Yul to the presidency. Yoon defeated the incumbent Democratic Party candidate on a platform of economic deregulation, closer ties to the US, and the abolition of the country's gender and family ministry. The campaign was marked by a series of scandals and intense mudslinging between the parties. That's all for Lightning Round. Back to you, Tommy. Thanks, Alana. For our next story, on Thursday, March 10th, Northeastern's Art Blanche Club held an art sale on Centennial Common to raise money for RASM for Ukraine. Our reporters talked to some of the members of the club about the event. Thanks. So I'm here with Anna. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm Anna Muranova. I'm a senior student here at Northeastern, majoring in biology, and I'm also a social media coordinator for the Art Blanche Club on our campus, which is basically the organization for students to do some art in their free time and enjoy themselves while they're doing that. Yeah. Can you just tell me a little bit about what you're doing? Sure. So today we decided to collect the artwork of uh, our students. So we have the art club, and there we basically just uh, get together every week to do some art to kind of relax from the stress of coursework and everything like that and when the war um, happened uh, we decided that we can actually turn all of our artwork into the proceedings to the charitable organization so we can really make a difference with all the beautiful artwork that we have. Um, I am originally from Moscow and I have close relatives in Kiev so this is a really personal issue for me and for Toma as well she's also Russian um, and she funded this organization. She's one of the presidents. I'm just helping out with the social media. And we decided that if we do that um, here on campus, we can collect some money and uh, raise awareness. So it would be like um, a really win-win situation. And so far, I think we've collected more than a thousand and three hundred dollars which is just insane, honestly. I, we couldn't really expect so many people to be so, um, grateful and so generous and we're so grateful that people are just like coming up and buying all this and saying nice words and saying thanks for doing that that's been really an amazing event so far and all the proceedings are going to RASM. Uh, RASM is a organization that's gonna um, send all the money to the human humanitarian aid and uh, support to the Ukrainians. It's been really really hard two weeks 
for Ukrainians and we should not forget to support them regardless of their of our own lives you know here in the US it's really peaceful everyone have their own lives we have classes you know things are being normal but back there this is it's a full scale war and uh, Russia is being really really cruel and setting all the missiles and bombing the maternity ward in Mariupol yesterday and we just don't want people to forget and we really want to support all the Ukrainians that are being affected right now. That's great. What all of you are doing are amazing. Is there a way that uh, students can really support both your organization as well as RASM after this? Uh, I think that the primary um, way that students can support this is just come here and buy all the artwork. I think we'll, if we have some leftovers, we'll for sure let them know by Instagram. And um, I think that every student can just um, stay on top of the things. So it's really important right now to uh, read the news. I know it can be hard sometimes to read all the sad news and um, to find out all the cruel things that are happening in Ukraine, but we have to be um, aware of what is happening. We have to keep going to the protests. If you can go to the protests, please do that. If you can donate even a dollar to some organization, please do it, like RASM or American Red Cross, any organization. Um, it would really make a difference. A dollar for Ukrainian equals like a hot meal. So it would really, really change someone's life or even save someone's life. So we should really all try our best to support those in need right now and stay aware that the war is not over, that we have to stop buying Russian oil, that we have to ban Russian companies and we do everything that we can to stop this bloody war. Thanks guys. That's the news. The rest is up to you. Be sure to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with the Husky Update. My name is Tommy DiMartino. Thank you for watching.